Ernest Hemingway was one of the most important writers of the 20th century. He revolutionized the idea of what an American author was, and he was a bigger celebrity in his day and age than we could probably conceive of now. He was the Lady Gaga of his era. Ernest Miller Hemingway was born in Oak Park, Illinois on July 21st, 1899. As a young man, Hemingway worked on his school newspaper, and then on graduation, instead of going to college, he went directly to work on newspapers in Kansas City. That background in journalism had a lot to do with his later literary style. Ernest Hemingway's writing style was significant because he was so brief and seemingly straightforward. Whereas other writers were writing very long sentences, Hemingway came in and stamped on them with his short little sentences, like army boots. During World War I, Hemingway served as an ambulance driver and then moved to Paris, where he wrote his first novel, The Sun Also Rises, in 1926. Paris was this amazing confluence of literary talent where you had Hemingway, James Joyce, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Gertrude Stein, T.S. Eliot, and Hemingway immediately impressed all of them, especially Fitzgerald, who brought Hemingway's manuscript, The Sun Also Rises, to his publisher, Charles Scribner. If it hadn't been for Fitzgerald, Hemingway might not be a household name now. Hemingway's 1929 second novel, A Farewell to Arms, was based on his World War I experiences and was a big success. His personal life, however, was often stormy. Hemingway had this pathological thing where as soon as he married one woman, he fell in love with another one, usually a much younger one, and this happened over and over. Ernest Hemingway was married four times with his first wife, Hadley. They had a son, John. With his second wife, Pauline, he had two sons, Patrick and Gregory. He was then married to the journalist, Martha Gellhorn, and then finally to Mary Welsh. Hemingway continued to live up to his reputation as a fearless physical writer as he served as a newspaper war correspondent during the Spanish Civil War and World War II. In 1951, Ernest Hemingway won the Pulitzer Prize for The Old Man and the Sea. Hemingway was further honored three years later with a Nobel Prize in Literature. In Ernest Hemingway's later life, he fought uh, depression, anxiety, probably mental illness. Hemingway suffered from alcoholism, suffered from an ongoing battle with inner demons in his life. It started to take an intense mental toll. He would have beer and gin for breakfast, and after a while he was no longer a functional alcoholic. His ability to write was gone, and he felt that that was his essence as a human being. That was his point for being on Earth. Hemingway committed suicide when finally he found that all the virtues that he most valued, self-control and productivity, had come to an end. It was better to go out than simply to flounder on. Ernest Hemingway died on July 2nd, 1961. Hemingway's greatest work may have been his life, the life that he lived. He took being a writer from being someone who just sat in a room to someone who not just gobbled up life, but made a show of it.